Hi, my name is Shin, Master of Key Energy Therapy. I have a special ability to withdraw spiritual energy called Key from Universe freely. I utilize this energy to reduce pain and improve condition of almost any kind of diseases, sickness, and injuries. I don't use any shots, needles, or medications. Therefore, my therapy is very, very safe. In fact, there is no side effects, yet it is remarkably effective. Today I am going to talk about the reason why so many people, 500,000 to 1 million people in the world, going for kidney treatment, and many of them going for dialysis every year. And the numbers have been increasing dramatically for the last 20 years. Then, recently I have been taking care of those people with kidney disease, and I have found one of the most dangerous reasons why so many people get into dialysis. In my previous video, I introduced three causes of kidney diseases, yet I have found fourth one. So I'm going to tell you why that fourth one could be the one of the most dangerous reasons why so many people go for dialysis. Before getting into the detail, I just want to clarify that I am not a medical doctor. I am not a scientist either. I'm the expert of key energy therapy. So whatever you're going to learn from me is from the key energy point of view not from narrow area of science and medicine. The fourth and the most dangerous reason why so many people get into dialysis is because they've been taking blood pressure medications. Blood pressure and the function of kidneys are very strong tight linked together. So once kidney is not functioning normally, blood pressure is going to be raised. The reason is very simple. Kidney, every part of kidney needs blood to filter the toxic material out. So in order to do that, they have to raise the blood pressure so that kidneys start going back to the normal level. But once your blood pressure is lowered intentionally, some parts of the kidney do not receive enough blood. As a result, down the line, those parts of the kidney start dying. That's the problem. But somehow, every one of my clients who come to, me see, come to see me for help with kidney diseases been receiving blood pressure medications without knowing whether or not they have danger. In order to avoid that, first thing you have to do is to find out whether or not you have a true blood pressure. Not the blood pressure you are told by doctors when you go see and visit the doctor. Doctor, they take your blood pressure only once because blood pressure fluctuates every day. Sometimes plus minus 10 to 30 or 40 for some people. So just taking one blood pressure doesn't mean much. Yet, they often do that. Once they put you into the category that you have high blood pressure, they prescribe high blood pressure medication to lower it even though kidneys need your higher blood pressure in order to make sure every blood comes to the, every part of your kidneys. Going back 10, 15 years ago, the definition of high blood pressure is like systolic pressure 150. They lower to 145, 140, 135. So now, maybe more than half of the population in the whole world is categorized under the high blood pressure danger. Once they find that blood pressure is higher than those protocol level, they prescribe medications. Not one week, two weeks, but one, two, three, four, five years. As long as your measurement of blood pressure is within an optimum level, they keep prescribing it. And those people who receive these medications for a long time, some people develop edema in their legs because blood pressure is not high enough to bring those blood back to your heart. Some people start having difficulty memories because blood pressure is not high enough that, so that blood not going to go to the brain and come back to the heart constantly. That's how dangerous that is. Especially kidney diseases. In order to rectify, improve, cure kidney disease, you have to fix three things. Nerve attachment to the kidneys and loosen up the tight muscle organ of kidneys. Third, get rid of heavy metals, mercury, lead, aluminum, asbestos, other toxic material out of kidneys. Those are three major things you have to do in order to improve and get your kidney health back. Yet, 
lowering blood pressure is the worst one because you it, by lowering it you never get your healthy kidney back because some part of your kidney constantly die because do not receive enough blood that's the problem so from my point of view it is not necessary to take a blood pressure medications but in order to improve your kidney functions you have to improve those three causes and then I can help to do it if you are going to work with me if you have any questions please call my this number or send me an email thank you